Hello, my name is Chad Lambton. I work in the cartridge engineering group here at Sun Hydraulics. Today I'll be showing the components that we will be using to demonstrate Sun's embedded amplifier. This is Sun's embedded proportional amplifier. What we have done is make a completely integrated electrohydraulic solution by making the coil and amplifier one piece. The amplifier is potted inside a housing for vibration and water intrusion resistance. The embedded amplifier is CE compliant. This particular model has the Deutsch connector, which is IP69K rated. Also available is a DIN connector, which is IP65 rated. There are LEDs on the front of the amplifier to provide indication of power, output, and fault status. This is Sun's handheld programmer. This is a portable and easy to use device to program the amplifier via an infrared adapter. The programmer has a memory function to save and transfer amplifier settings. Also available is a PC-based software that shares the same user interface as the handheld programmer, with the added function of being able to display all of the amplifier settings at once. This is Sun's infrared adapter. This is used to make the connection between the handheld programmer and the embedded amplifier. This is the RS-232 connector type. It can be used with either the handheld programmer or a personal computer. Also available is a USB adapter for use with personal computers. This is a cutaway of an FPCC proportional throttle valve and manifold. There is a position indicator connected to the valve to show changes in valve position. This is used to demonstrate how an embedded amplifier will control the valve as well as the effects of tuning the embedded amplifier. This is a Deutsch cable assembly. This is used to connect the embedded amplifier to a power source and an input command source. This is the power supply that we will be using to demonstrate Sun's embedded amplifier. The power supply will generate 24 volts for the amplifier and can provide a 0 to 10 volt command input. The power supply can also provide an enable signal for the amplifier. To assemble the embedded amplifier to the valve, first slide the coil over the solenoid tube, then put the o-ring on the tube, then screw the coil nut to the back of the solenoid. Next attach the power cable to the embedded amplifier. These are the communication components of the infrared adapter. Be sure that these are pointed towards the light pipes in the amplifier housing. The other side of the infrared adapter has a rounded profile. This is the side of the adapter that should be pointed towards the coil. Line up the infrared adapter with the embedded amplifier and insert it until it clicks. Thank you for watching this short video. Be sure to watch our other instructional videos featuring Sun Hydraulics products. And as always, please visit us on the web at sunhydraulics.com.